Hello and welcome to our latest video on the Elon Musk files. Today, we will be discussing the origin of Tesla Motors and its founders. Who are they? What were their roles within the company and their vision in creating the revolutionary electric vehicles we know today? The story of Tesla Motors begins with a group of Silicon Valley engineers and entrepreneurs who saw the potential for electric cars long before they were widely accepted. Martin Eberhard, Mark Tarpenning and Ian Wright were the three original founders of what is now known as Tesla Incorporated. Martin, Ian and Mark had a passion for electric cars and they wanted to create a high-performance electric sports car that could compete with gasoline-powered vehicles. Tesla Motors faced financial struggles in its early days in 2004, and the founders were looking for a way to secure additional funding to keep the company going. That's when Elon Musk entered the picture. Musk saw the potential in Tarpenning and Eberhard's idea and vision, so he decided to invest in the company. I mention only Tarpenning and Eberhard here because in 2004, Mr. Wright decided to leave the company for other ventures. In 2004, Elon Musk invested $6.5 million in Tesla Motors and joined the board of directors. He quickly became the company's largest investor, investing a total of $70 million by the end of 2008. Elon eventually became the chairman of the board and the largest investor in Tesla. J.B. Straubel joined the company in May 2004 and became the fifth employee of the company. Together, Tarpenning, Eberhard, Straubel and Musk set out to create the first Tesla car, the Roadster. The Roadster was a revolutionary vehicle that could go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 4 seconds, and it had a range of over 245 miles on a single charge. The Roadster was also the first production car to use lithium-ion battery cells, which are now a standard in the EV industry. However, the partnership between Tarpenning, Eberhard and Musk was not to last, and the three eventually had a falling out. Eberhard left the company in 2008, but his contributions to Tesla have been acknowledged by the current management and he is still considered one of the key figures behind the company's early development. In a lawsuit settlement agreed to by Eberhard and Tesla in September 2009 allows Eberhard, Tarpenning, Wright, Musk and Straubel to call themselves co-founders of Tesla. Now, you know, the founders of what is now known as Tesla Incorporated.